Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK here and today's quick review is on the new Anycubic Cobra 2. So this is the new addition to the Cobra series but being banded around as being capable of 5 times the speed of the average printer. Now with most of the market now giving some figures, um, it will be questionable as to whether this is capable of 250 MMS but that's what they're suggesting it can be, so five times faster than the average print of, say, 50 MMS. But they recommend around about 150 be, being the quality side of it. It's got 2,500 acceleration speed, which is pretty impressive, and uh, being capable of printing a bench here around 30 minutes. So for a bed slinger, that's pretty impressive. So it has an upgraded extrusion system, so uh, 60 watts extruder, and uh, dual geared extrusion structure so and the cooling system of 7000 7, rpm which helps with cooling down all of the models it also sports the levy q auto leveling system with smart z offset it also has the double metal spindles and sg15 bearings so just to ensure that your printing comes out as smooth as and stable as possible it also has the stable double Z access threaded rods. Um, for a smaller print size like this, having the dual rods obviously helps with stability. The easier modular assembly makes it for a, an easy build for around five pieces in 10 minutes and you're done. As you can see, it has the USB-C and traditional micro SD card. It also sports the 4.3 inch colored LCD touchscreen, which is, can be found on most of the Cobra series and the Viper. So with the Cobra 2, the build volume is 220 and 220 on the X and the Y. And then on the Z, it's 250 millimeters. And as you can see, it sports the tensioner belts, both on the X and the Y, which is obviously very important to ensure a smooth transition for the print. And as we um, pan around the back of the machine, as I said earlier, it has the dual Z, but only one on a motor. Um, obviously, this is improving the stability of the print um, and overall as you can see also towards the back of the bed you will see a wipe nozzle so this is where the um, nozzle wipes as part of the g-code it also has the um, power ratings for whatever country you're in so ensure that you check that before you turn it on and uh, as i described the um, pei flex build plate um, the motor is slightly larger but i also found that during print is still um, did heat up quite considerably but with the um, warning sign this obviously helps the touch sensor on the right hand side as you can see is where the levy Q touches down as part of a initial test um, for leveling so as we go around to the front of the machine you will see that it has the um, timing belt at the top for the Z um, this is obviously a really important um, support and help for the structural side of it and to ensure your print looks good and as i said earlier it has the um, filament sensor run out so from the left hand side of the printer you will have the power cord and the on off switch which is pretty standard for most of the cobra series um, there's no draw on this or no storage capabilities um, it's just the power unit and the uh, connections as, as I said earlier, it's the 4.3 inch traditional screen, which I was hoping that the Anycubic would update the actual screen design, although it works and it, it's pretty much been a functionable process for all of the other printers. So overall, the Anycubic Cobra 2 um, was an easy build. Um, the actual design of it is much like the originals but with the new printing head with the direct drive which is obviously going to help with printing quality and also the speed the speed is something that i will be testing throughout this uh, quick review but um i would say that i would probably go for about 150 mms being your standard speed and 250 being its capable speeds but and um, print quality is likely to be suffering. As you can see right now, I'm printing a Trianosaurus skull from STL Flix. 
and uh, the quality from this with standard settings on Prusa Slicer that you can get with the um, on the SD card. I'm also using um, Aurora Tech settings. Um, so if you check out their YouTube channel and their review of the Cobra 2, they will actually supply you with the settings which I'm using for this video. Um, and it, it seems to come out extremely well. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with the Cobra 2 setup and um, initial review. But as I go through this video, I'm going to print off some benches, see what sort of speeds we can get. They are suggesting that we can run speeds of up to 30 minutes. So looking at 250 MMS on that. So let's give it a go and see what it can achieve. OK, so I've decided to um, turn the Cobra 2 over. Um, so to undo the bottom cover, you take off the two Allen keys. Um, it is push fitted on, so there's some little clips around the sides. So you do need to take care with that because you can snap that. And the fan is connected to the motherboard, which is pretty standard. The fan, the cooling fan is quite a large fan, so um, they've done a good job there. Quite noisy though. Um, I won't remove the cable. I'm not sure if it's hot glued in. It's not looking as if it is. So they have used feral connections, but it looks as if they've only feral connected two of the four wires. So I'm not quite sure why they haven't done the other two without disconnecting. So they're using the Anycubic Trigular Pro board on this. And the stepper drivers don't seem to be removable, so they're fixed. However, the um, from what I've tested so far, the Cobra steppers seem quite quiet and um, probably no need to change the board in the future or upgrade it but in terms of the um, tidiness and the cable management they've done a, a very good job and it's something that they're doing better with so let's go over to benchies now okay so the benchy i'm printing right now is at 250 mms but i can't verify that speed and i'm using the aurora tech settings as i said earlier on in the video as you can see, it's printing pretty well, and this is obviously a time lapse, but um, the actual print recorded around 33 minutes in total, which is pretty impressive for this type of printer. Um, obviously, nowhere near the X1 Carbon or the P1P or even the um, K1 from Creality, but still for a smaller printer like this, the Anycubic Cobra 2 has definitely performed well. And as you can see now, um, this is complete. Okay, so now that um, this is complete, as you can see, the bench sheet has printed out pretty well. And as I said, uh, 33 minutes on the clock. Um, no issues in terms of the extruder or the speed. Um, it was pretty impressive. The time lapse has obviously been shortened down. The quality of this using the Anycubic Black has come out pretty impressive for the speed that this is printing at. Um, some ring marks around the edges. This was probably a temperature issue. Um, I run the temperature at 215, but these settings were already preset. Um, I used a file from Aurora Tech as well, so this was you can find this on their video. Um, I've run about two or three different versions. So this one was the 250 MMS, and as I say. I've had some pretty impressive benches over my time, but something of this speed, especially on this type of um, new machine, um, the cooling on that has really helped. Um, so this particular benchy I printed with the um, U-Color Tri-Color. Um, really love this color. Um, definitely check them out. Um, that was at 150. And this one here was actually... Um, around about 100 mms so i slowed it right down and i found that the heating was a bit of an issue with that now this particular model i printed this was sliced using prusa slicer and the aurora tech settings um this is um model is a t-rex uh skull and printed and the file can be found on stl flicks which you need to be a member to be able to get that file um, but yeah, this, as you can see, this was 0.2 layer height, a uh, temperature of about 195 and bed 65, and it's coming out really, really impressive. Now, overall, I'm really, really impressed by the Cobra 2, 
and the Anycubic brand I've never had really any issues with. I've had the Cobra Max, the Plus and um, the Viper and stuff like that and I've tested all of those and this definitely stands up really well. So um, once again thank you and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and that's Phil from 3DP UK.